Hello everyone, it's Saturday, August 5th. I'm gonna do a little check on the garden here. Um, first and foremost, we are gonna ignore the weed bed. So forget about that. Let's talk about corn. Um, this corn uh, has basically stopped getting taller. It's about four feet tall, I'd say. Um, and the ears are developing. So you can see, here's one, here are two right next to each other. So um, still pretty small. Whoops, lost my mic there for a second. Still pretty small, but uh, hopefully they'll continue developing in maybe maybe a month or so, I don't know, a few weeks. We can harvest those uh, ears of corn. Uh, over here, I don't know which squash this, this is. Um, this is acorn squash, I guess you can tell because of the fruit there. And these are, um, these are pollinated. I don't know, these are pretty late, but hopefully they'll grow. Just noticing those now. Uh, what's what's most interesting, I think, over here are the, uh, the spaghetti squashes. You can see now that we actually have several that are ready to harvest. This is the Small Wonder spaghetti squash. And because of that, they do remain small in size, but the plant uh, grows several of them. Um, let's actually pick one of those now. I've got my talented helper here, Stephanie, who's going to harvest this small one for us. It's quite a reach. There we go. One beautiful small squash. Thank you, Stephanie. And more corn. Uh, also in this bed, you may remember we planted some broccoli. Uh, that really came to nothing. So we put in a new zucchini. This is the Golden Glory Summer Squash. Uh, that was actually intended to go here all along, actually closer to here, but as you can see, this is all shaded by the other squash plants. Here are the leeks, uh, pretty small, whatever. Not too concerned about those. All right, we're starting to get some tomatoes we can harvest, so that's great. Uh, this is the Midnight Snack Tomato. These stay very black and just the bottom becomes red when they're ready to harvest. This is the white currant tomato. And these are very small. And this color, this pale yellow, is right about the, the color when they're ripe. So they're not really white, but they're not orange either. So uh, yeah, these are ready to pick, I think. Then we've got the Vermont cranberry bean. Didn't really climb the trellis, but you can see there are some flowers on it. Uh, for peppers, we've got the, this is a Kang Star Lemon Starburst. We've only got one. All of the peppers and the tomatoes, the plants are stunted. Um, they became stunted indoors in the spring and they never really recovered, unfortunately. But we are getting some fruit. I think this is a cayenne. No, this might be the Dragon Sushido pepper. You can see there's several peppers on that plant. Uh... No, this is the cayenne. Yep, this is definitely the cayenne. You can see those hooked peppers there. We've got some parsley, some carrots here. You can see there are shoulders, if you look really closely down there. Uh, I don't know what's in these, but it looks like nothing. Lemon basil, which is apparently bolting. Parsnips, these are actually starting to look pretty good. The greens are pretty small most of the season. I think these are red meat radishes, either red meat or watermelon. Over here in the east bed, well, the tall plant, these are our pole beans. No beans yet, pretty far behind. I don't know why, but uh, you know we're getting flowers, so hopefully. Here's the Jolly hybrid tomato, a little bigger than most of the other cherry tomatoes. Uh, next, we have the sun sugar tomato. A perennial favorite. This is the Mexico Midget Tomato. I don't choose the names. Um, these are very, very tiny tomatoes, but they are tasty and they are just a sort of normal red uh, when they're ripe. This is the Aji Rico pepper. You can see a few fruits on there, always a good performer. Not sure what this is. I think it's um, actually Trinidad Scorpion maybe. Beaver Dam pepper which is like a sort of a red bell type sweet pepper. 
and uh, lemon drop pepper. And then over here we have carrots, more parsnips, dill. Uh, again, these are either red meat or watermelon radishes. Not looking too good. Kyoto red carrots. These have been really bad. They just bolt. They don't really grow much, and they just bolt right away. So probably not going to grow those again. Italian basil and chives. Okay, over here in tomato world, we have, this is the Wisconsin 55. Gotten a few off of this plant so far. This is the mortgage lifter. We've picked one fruit off of this. This is Abe Lincoln, and disturbingly, one of these fruits is Blossom End Rot. Not sure how that happened. I think this is Lillian's Yellow Tomato. It's either that or Green Giant. This is Nepal. This is the other one. This is Oh, this is actually Lillian's Yellow. You can see there's a fruit there. Uh, Brandywine. I don't think there's any fruit on this. Nope, there is one on the back side here. Then, oh geez, what is this? I have no idea. I could, could be Roma. No, this this is Roma. You can tell of how they're because of how they're growing in clusters like this. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Mystery tomato. Uh, and then here we've got a raspberry vine that needs to be pulled out, but it's sharp. I got thorns, so I'm not going to do that right now. And then the raspberries are totally done for the year. Um, at this stage, we fertilize them so that we get nice, tall, healthy canes that will produce for us next year. So that is the full tour for today, for early August. Thank you for watching, and have a great day.